Alrighty, uh, catching up on some recordings. So this is going to be Papa versus Danny. Might as well just click start replay now. So let's see, we've got, got what I consider kind of the more standard opening here. Versus Scarbrand and the uh, Blood Shrine opening. And these games were played like because I haven't been pushing the tournament as much, like a week and a half, two weeks now, maybe maybe longer. And this was one of the very first games played. So I th think I remember the results, and I think I remember some really just eye-opening points, but it's been a little while. So in the case of this, what I think Danny needs to do is he does have the mobility with double the flying and then with the uh, Warhounds. So if he can just pick off, you know, one or two units, I think that's what he needs to do. We might, like, since I kind of know the results of this, I might as well just talk a little bit of theory. Uh, the Minotaur's got, a, I think, a huge buff with just being dropped down on cost. I didn't, like, they were expensive before, but everything on Korn's roster is expensive. Um, and they were just kind of like you had to know how to use them correctly before, which, once again, I feel like is the case with all of Korn's rosters. Um, you, you have to match everything perfectly with their correct unit, and then they do really well. Um, but with the points reduction on them, uh, they really become a no-brainer. But, like, 2v1 with the Air Force, uh, I think you just immediately, uh, if you, if I was Danny, immediately take the Air. Um, try to single out, like, the Soul Grinder that's being pushed way forward. Uh, if you don't contest the Air, especially. Um, but, I mean, look at this, like, a little bit of infantry up here, Soul Grinder, the other half. Um, and then you have Scarbrand, you have two Warhounds, which aren't really going to do much damage. You have a Blood Shrine, and then you have the dual Harpies. So, like, while the Warhounds and the Harpies won't really do much damage... Oh, and a Skull Cannon coming in. Um, like, you, like this right here. Like, you could come in, do some damage with Scarbrand, and, uh, pen in place with everything else. Or just use everything else to hold back everything. While you just pick on uh, the Soul Grinder. And then you get out. Really fast. I need to shut down Discord. Yeah, see this? this You have no reason to be running with this. Uh, you you let... You, you counter charge. You bring this around. You hit the flank. Skull Cannon, you shoot down the flanks of the, these blood letters here. Danny has no reason to run from this fight. He actually needs to bring this other Harpy up in just 2v1. Um, he's, I, I get what he's kind of doing. He's building a strong front here. But he, uh, he has the mobility. Um, and these blood letters are literally made to take out Chaos Warriors. <laughs> so instead, even though he has the mobility, and he has at least an anchor that could sit somewhere, he is letting uh, Papa kind of choose the engagement here. And Scarbrand... Is not having a good time between the Herald, the Minotaurs, and all his Scarbrand support is uh, just not not there. 
Uh, this is what the Minotaurs do. This was still just watching... Uh, I thought I was on Scarbrand. Watching Scarbrand just get deleted like this. It's just... Look at the, look at the hit points just coming off. But I guess that's what a herald with his abilities popped. And uh, nothing between him and Scarbrand on those Minotaurs. And, uh, yeah. Skull cannons are running, or skull cannons are running from the flesh hounds. Like, I feel like Danny had some good ideas, but he's using his units in all the wrong ways. Dual blood letters. Oh, well, one of these is Hellforge hosts, like, just taking out, uh, Chaos Warriors. Another soul grinder now, wrapping around. Or is that the same one? That could be the same one. Yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, that's the same one. Where'd those Minotaurs go? Value, 29.85. Like, they're over half health, and they've already paid for themselves twice over. So... Yeah, I mean, moral of the story is if you have a much more mobile force and he had the Air Force superiority going in the beginning, he could have pretty easily forced something. Instead, he kind of boxed himself into a corner. He let Papa dictate the fight. And, like, that's... Not to spoil anything, but that, that first battle kind of just dictated the whole pace. Um, I think with that kind of crushing defeat right at the beginning with Scarbrand, it's very hard to come back. I mean, it's possible, but just... Uh, Papa's army took almost no damage from that engagement. He has all three points. He's pushing Danny back to his own deployment zone. Danny's lost three, th like over 3,000 points in that lord, I believe. Um, yeah, you just redress your lines here. You're... you're uh, Hellforge host is already has their special ability popped. You don't have to worry too much about the skull cannon, especially if you spread out a little bit. And that's why. Like, skull cannon is just not that accurate. And I do think if you have the skull cannon at this point. You're shooting into these big blobs. You're not paying as much attention to these minotaurs. Yeah, they're 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 dangerous, but they're not nearly as dangerous. Like you're at least likely to hit something else. That the Hellforge host is the most dangerous part here. And one being popped, the other one not being popped on their special ability they just chopped through. We get to see that the Crazy kill counter going up. 99. 100. Now they're going to walk into the next unit here. 101. So I, I think we can see how this is going. I'm going to speed up here. Uh, but I think it, Danny should have chosen where he wanted to fight. Especially when, once Papa put... A lot of his infantry and stuff down here and then march just a little bit up around this way that's where you go you know what i'm just coming up this way you have your your forecast warriors stay at, like hold this choke point here you come in and you crush everything up at the top but it is what it is